Hello everyone, this is section 3, The Evolution of Primates, read to you by Mr. Rupi. The Evolution of Primates Primates Humans, monkeys, and apes belong to the group of mammals known as primates. All primates have opposable thumbs, binocular vision, and flexible shoulders that allow the arms to rotate. These shared characteristics indicate that all primates may have evolved from a common ancestor. Having an opposable thumb allows you to cross your thumb over your palm and touch your fingers. This means you can grasp and hold things with your hands. An opposable thumb allows tree-dwelling primates to hold on to branches. Binocular vision permits you to judge depth or distance with your eyes. In a similar way, it allows tree-dwelling primates to judge the distances as they move between branches. Flexible shoulders and rotating forelimbs also help tree-dwelling primates move from branch to branch. They also allow humans to do the backstroke as shown in figure 16. Right here, figure 16, the backstroke. Primates are divided into two major groups. The first group is the strapsurins, including lemurs and tortoises, like those shown in figure 17, right here. The second group is haplorins, including monkeys, apes, and humans. Oh, look, a tortoise and a lemur. Hominins. About four to six million years ago, human-like primates appeared that were different from other primates. These ancestors called hominins ate both meats and plants and walked up right on two legs. Hominids shared some characteristics with gorillas, orangutans, and chimpanzees, but a larger brain separated them from the apes. African origins. In the early 1920s, a fossil skull was discovered in a quarry in South Africa. The skull had a small space for the brain, but it had a human-like jar and teeth. The fossil named Australopithecus was one of the oldest hominins discovered. An almost complete skeleton of the Australopithecus was found in Northern Africa in 1974. This hominid fossil, shown in figure 18, was called Lucy and had a small brain, but is thought to have had walked upright. This fossil indicated the modern hominid might have evolved from similar ancestors. Here are the remains. The fossil remains of Lucy are estimated to be 2.9 to 3.4 million years old. early humans. In the 1960s, in the region of Africa, as shown in figure 19, which this is figure 19 right here where the cursor is pointing. Let's get the giant cursor going right there. Giant cursor, there we go, right here. In the 1960s, in the region of Africa, as shown in figure 19, the hominid fossil, which was more like present humans than Australopithecus, was discovered. The hominid was named Homo habilis, meaning handyman, because simple stone tools were found near it. Homo habilis is estimated to be 1.5 to 2 million years old based on the many fossils comparisons. Scientists have suggested that Homo habilis gave rise to other species, Homo erectus, about 1.6 million years ago. This hominid had a larger brain than Homo habilis. Homo erectus traveled from Africa to Southeast Asia, China, and possibly Europe. Homo habilis and Homo erectus are thought to be ancestors of humans because they had larger brains and more human-like features than the Australopithecus. And there's a reading check. That means, again, handyman. Humans. Here we go. 
The fossil record indicates that Homo sapiens evolved about 400,000 years ago. By about 125,000 years ago, two early human groups, Neanderthals and Cro-Magnon humans, as shown in Figure 20, probably lived at the same time in parts of Africa and Europe. Neanderthals, short, heavy bodies with thick bones, small chins, and heavy brow ridges, were physical characteristics of Neanderthals. Family groups lived in caves and used well-made stone tools to hunt large animals. Neanderthals disappeared from the fossil record about 30,000 years ago. They probably are not direct ancestors of modern humans, but represent a side branch of human evolution. Figure 20, compare the skull of Neanderthal with the skull of Cro-Magnon. There's Neanderthal, there's Cro-Magnon. You see the front jaw here. No differences there. Oh, a painting, how delightful. Paintings on cave walls have led scientists to hypothesize that Cro-Magnon humans had well-developed culture. Let's read about Cro-Magnon humans. Cro-Magnon fossils have been found in Europe, Asia, Australia, and date from 10,000 to about 40,000 years in age. Standing about 1.6 to 1.7 meters tall, the physical appearance of Cro-Magnon people was almost the same as that of modern humans. They lived in caves and made stove, stone carvings and buried their dead. As shown in Figure 21, the oldest recorded art that had been found in the walls of caves in France, where Cro-Magnon humans first painted bison, horses, and people carrying spears. Cro-Magnon humans are thought to be direct ancestors of early humans. Homo sapiens, which means wise human. Evidence indicates that modern humans, Homo sapiens, evolved. Homo sapiens sapiens evolved from Homo sapiens. Well, there we go. And that's the end of this little section all about the evolution of primates. What did we learn? We learned about opposable thumbs, flexible shoulders, binocular vision, three things that set the primates apart. We've seen that the origins are from Africa. We learned that the earliest fossil found was named Lucy. We've learned about the Homo sapiens, Neanderthals. We learned that Cro-Magnon humans had culture and did paintings. So there we go. That's the reading and overview of the evolution of primates. This is Mr. Ruby. Enjoy your opposable thoughts. Goodbye.